Okay, so in the last video, we validated our um, input fields, that is the login page data that's submitted from our login page. So in this video, let's see how we can create pages. Since we are creating a CMS, we've um, created a functionality to login. Now let's see how to create pages and store them in the database, okay? So the first thing we need to do is let's go to our database program and I'll go to the query I'm running area of it and I'll just paste in a SQL snippet which is going to create a pages table and then we're going to put in some data there. So this is the um, SQL snippet and just create an ID for the table um, for pages and then create a body and then a published which when set to true will set the page as published and when set to false the page will not be published. Okay, so I'm going to run that run selection now we've created a table with that structure as you can see here next let's put in some data inside that table okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy that H um, sql snippet and i'm gonna paste it in here and we're just gonna create like four pages one two three and four and i'm gonna run it and now when we look at the pages we have some content in there title body body for page let's change this to body for page um, four okay so that we have some things to look at when we um, look over the pages okay so next let's go to our text editor so we're gonna have to create a folder called pages which is where all the page related things like adding pages creating listing and editing um, will be in so let's say pages and then we're gonna say index.php inside that pages um, folder there that is where the list of pages will be displayed so let's say index.php and then first let's just create an html snippet okay so i'm gonna type in html and then put in the um, pages list okay so right at the top of the html here we're gonna require um, some php functions and files okay so let's do require once and what we want to require we want to require um, the config okay so let's do underscore underscore dir so saying that we want to start from this directory since we're inside of pages we want to go one directory up so we're going to do dot and then append a string so let's say for slash dot dot so this dot dot here will take us our uh, one folder up so we're now in the base folder for simple cms so now let's um just say config dot php okay so we require that let's duplicate this once more and next what we want to uh, include or require is this functions dot php okay since they are all inside of simple cms base folder so next let's call a function which we haven't created yet but we will in a moment and we're going to store the value in pages and the function is called get pages okay so after we've gotten all the pages and that's going to return as an array of pages what we want to do is let's come in the body part here let's open a div with a class of container okay and then um, as usual in the title field here let's link to bootstrap so let's link css and then for slash bootstrap dot css okay and since we're not in the root um, directory we're gonna have to do um, forward slash css okay so let's continue writing the rest of this page so we're gonna come here and put an h2 element there so let's say pages okay next let's create a div which is going to have a class of pages as well and inside there we're going to do a for loop so let's open a php um, block statement here so let's say for each and then let's say pages as page and then let's do a colon here to say that we want to um, put a block of this um, for each loop here so let's close the for each underneath here so this is just a shorthand of writing for each statements and um, it keeps your code clean so you don't have to write like curly braces like this okay so let's come under here every time we loop over the page we want to output a p tag and inside the p tag there let me just do a p tag like this and inside the p tag we want to echo the title of the page so let's say echo page title okay since this page has a title column we want to echo that so now let's go ahead and create this get pages function inside of functions.php scroll down to the bottom and create a function there called get pages okay so what that function will do is it's just going to create a connection string equal to mysql db name 
equal to so let's just append database name and then um, we're just going to append the host there okay so a string semicolon host equal to localhost okay so next let's say pdo equals to new pdo and then first we're passing the connection string then next let's pass in the database um, username and then a database password okay so next let's just create a sql to get the page sql equal to select star from page okay and next let's just say result equal to pdo and guys i'm just doing select star here that gets all, all the columns but good practice is if you don't need all the columns um do not get them okay so just list out all the column names here like title actually let's do that title body okay so we want the id as well okay for now all right so let's say pdo query we just want to do a simple query since we're not um, using any dynamic um, parameters okay so um, let's remove this comma here because we don't need it okay so what we want to query is this sql here that we created so let's return a result okay return okay so one thing we want to do is let's reconfigure the process login page so that anytime a user is logged in we are redirected back to the pages um, index okay so instead of echoing user is logged in so let's say header login location and the location will be forward slash pages so we need a, a colon here pages forward slash index dot php so that we show the list of pages okay so back here let's just say lamin and then remember the password is not vice it is my password and then we just log in and then it says pages in php on line 17 let's see what the error there is on line 17 okay so apparently there's an issue here it should be end for each to end a for each in this um format you have to do end for each here not another for each okay so i'll just refresh this as you can see we are being shown the list of pages okay so that brings us to the end of this video wherein we uh, created a database table called pages put in some data and then listed the pages after logging in okay so i thank you for watching i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye